guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys signage of mod 10 for the Galaxy S3. This is the Verizon version. Now this is brought to you guys by David Hacker of Droid Hive and also CVPCS. He's the one that brought a second in it uh, recovery for the Droid X and other Motorola devices. He has uh, put together a KZEG boot process that allows us to run custom recoveries um, including kernels and all kinds of awesome ROMs. Uh, on our Samsung Galaxy S3 which has a lock bootloader. It's just a process for circumventing the lock bootloader so that we can run pretty much whatever we want on this phone. Uh, as he put it, who cares that it has a lock boot bootloader? Why do we even need an unlock bootloader when we have Kegzek? Uh, but anyways guys, we're gonna run through some of the options in this ROM. There's not a whole lot here. This is an unofficial build. As you guys know, CyanogenMod is still perfecting CyanogenMod 9 and they are not even ready to release CM10 uh, to the masses yet, but they do have a few nightly builds that are up on their Garrett. Um, folks like D Hacker and um, BMC GT08 have pulled from the Garrett and put together some uh, custom ROMs of their own. So far, we have, like I said, we have uh, just a few ROMs for this phone, um, but we'll go through some of the features real quick. If we pull up the App drawer, there's a few things that are included here like Apollo Music app. We have the DSP Manager. And as far as custom apps, I think that's about it. We do have the Torch app, which is included there as well. Uh, if we go into settings, we have lock screen settings. We can change the wallpaper background. And that's about it. It doesn't even look like we can choose our locks yet. Uh, so there's no custom icons on the lock screen yet. Like I said, this is unofficial. It's very early. Uh, there's no theme chooser yet. And we can change the things in the status bar. We can show the clock or choose to take the clock away. We can choose AM or PM style. Uh, we can change the battery style to percentage. And uh, we can also change the things in the notification drawer. We can change... Uh, the power widgets up top so we can choose the buttons that we want so like if we wanted the LTE button that's now there and it looks like that is about it uh, as you can see there's a few other options there as well we can change the wallpaper I think it includes the wallpaper let's see yes yeah, signage of my nine wallpapers so that's pretty cool it may have performance settings let's take a look at that yeah, there are performance settings. So we change the processor. Um, we can change the CPU governor. So if we wanted like a performance mode that would put it at the max 24 7, it burns your battery like crazy. I always keep it whatever it's stock. And then we can change the maximum CPU frequency all the way up to 1512 megahertz. And guys, that is Signage Mod 10. Like I said, there's not a ton of customization options yet this is still an unofficial build but it's awesome to see that we have full development on this device uh, of course Verizon released it with a lockdown bootloader um, but that has really not gotten in the way of the developers I have a separate install tutorial that I will link to in the description if you want to see more of me you can check out droidmoderx.com for the latest in Android and tech news be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx uh, be sure to click the subscribe button right there. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. If you want to see more Samsung Galaxy S3 videos in the future, be sure to let me know that you like those. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.